Now let's insert the photoresistors. While keeping the robot body bottom side up, insert the photoresistors until the legs sit on the flat surface. Slightly bend the resistors upward and apply solder to the pads of both of them. Now bend the photoresistors so that they face outward. Now we're going to insert the clear LEDs. Turn the robot body so that it faces the right and insert the bottom LED while making sure that the long leg goes through the left hole and that the shorter leg goes through the right hole. Slightly bend the LED downward. Next, insert the other clear LED while making sure that the longer leg is through the left hole and the shorter leg through the right hole. Slightly bend the LED upward. Now apply solder to both legs of both LEDs. Now slightly bend the LEDs back so that they face outward. Flip the robot body over and use a wire cutter to cut the excess legs of the photoresistors and clear LEDs. If you ever cut the legs off a component in such a way where they're making contact, bend them away from each other so they're not touching. Next, insert the screw through the top side and the nut through the bottom of the screw. Tighten the nut to the body. Then, add the screw cap to the end of the screw and tighten. Now, we're going to add the battery holder, but before we do, let's apply a bit of solder to the battery pads like so. With the robot body facing upwards, remove the paper covering from the adhesive strip and stick the battery holder onto the robot body while making sure that the wires face the right side. Push the wires of the battery holder through the hole on the bottom right of the robot body. Next, solder the red wire to the bottom positive pad, then solder the black wire to the top negative pad. 